Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today we're doing the version of Jupiter Plays All the Games, this time with the GB Jam 5. The GB Jam is a Game Boy themed jam where developers had to keep the original Game Boy screen resolution, make all of their assets during this jam, and use only four colors in their game. I'm playing all of the games that are in this jam for about a minute each, 10 per video. Links to the games will be in the description so you can check them out further. And all my info will also be in the description so you can check me out. At the end, I'll probably have an article of my favorites on Game Jolt's Fireside, so keep a lookout for that. As a side note, this jam is currently doing a Kickstarter because this is the fifth version of the jam. They want to continue making uh, Game Boy jams and make it even better and do some website upgrading and host it on their own site and stuff. So if you want to check out the Kickstarter, it'll, it's on the Game Boy Jam page linked in the description and you can see if you can help out. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, liking, commenting. Next. We're playing Reflect Raider. I'm playing the downloaded version because it told me to. WSD and arrow keys. Got it. Got it. All right. So I can move my like shield around me as I move. And then that bounces the bullets back. That's quite cool. Side to protect, I've already been hit once now. I'm leaving a side exposed so I can destroy that one. A lot of points. Oh, wait, that one died. Okay, good. This is a really neat game. Gotcha. Oh, there's so many of them. Alright. I'm dead. <laughs> Next. We're playing a block bridge hero. Alright, I'm using my Xbox 60, yeah, 60 controller because I can. Build a path using Tetris blocks from the hero to the exit ladder. Try to use it le the least amount of blocks. Once you have a path, press put the enter key and move. Right. So I didn't pick up the bomb, which is probably something I should have picked up. Alright, that's a pretty cool concept. Level 2. You can freely switch between controlling the blocks and the hero by pressing enter the start button. Join here, you may place bombs and blocks to move them. Just press the right. Alright, let's go grab the key. One key. I don't care about the rock. Let's grab the chest, which gave us a bonus key, I guess, because it cost a key to open. At least one key to open treasure chest just contains more blocks, keys, or bombs. So I only have like a limited number of blocks, which is kind of scary. Alright, I'm gonna switch. Alright, we've got a key. We need more blocks. Next, we're playing Dungeon Escape. Let's pick all of these keys. Is that like the end of the dungeon? I don't want to leave the dungeon yet. Gonna kill some ghosties. And explore. All of them like they were just hanging out in the corner. I'm like, no, don't come near me. And I did. This is a very cool game. Got another key. I think we've collected all the keys we need, so we can just go deeper. 
Or keep getting hit by ghosts. That's cool too. I'm gonna run away from you. Alright, so now we need to like collect the keys for real. I only seem to like be able to go side by no no. Yeah, I can only seem to use my sword. Going left to right. You look like a, a bad, bad guy. I wanna die. Game over. <laughs> Next. We're playing Riches Riches. Alright. It's a I'm playing the browser based game, so I head down to sort of Oh, go through that area. You look like a floating gem. I must be battling my riches. Oh, wow. Yeah, I've done really bad so far. So I've got, like, coins for health. Oh, this is quite cool. Okay, so these, like, break. Ah. We should just go through as fast as... Ah, possible, but then we'll hit the spikes. This game isn't as hard as I'm making it. <laughs> No, I just didn't make that jump. Uh. Bam. There we go. Got some lives back. Oh. I kind of thought I was going to make that jump. Jumped on his head, sort of like in Mario. This looks like a really well made game. Nope. Bam. Do not take my riches. Oh, hit spikes. Next. We're playing Alleviate. Oh. So we can kind of control the world around us. That's quite interesting. Ah. Hmm. We need to start up here. There we go. This is a really cool game. what the buttons did for a minute there. Did they just change how the world's uh, controlled? I can't get that one, so how do I... Hmm. Oh. I need keys, though. Hmm. I thought I couldn't go through that door for a minute there, but I guess I could. This is really quite clever. Next. We're playing uh, So Findor. Right. I like the look of our little knight character. At least it kind of goes in and out of focus. That's our attack on the sword. so fast. Just keep using the sword and hope we run into the enemy. Oh. No, I have to kill the enemy, but I'm not sure where it is. Oh, maybe it's just an area this way. like a, an interesting game. Apparently there is a boss. I wish there was just uh, more enemies and more to do. Next. 
We're playing Rumble Road. Look at all these colored palettes. I'm liking the pink lately. Let's start a new game. All right, attack an enemy. Yeah, let's attack an enemy. Punchy, attack, blob. All right, everyone attack the blob. Blob attacked wizard. We're gonna attack again, wizard. Yeah, steal SP, sure. Punchy. Uh, inspire, restore targets SP and some HP. That's just attack. Yay, punchy defeated blob. All right, now there's more blobs. These graphics are really nice. Actually, I don't need to do that. Might as well just attack. Sure. Just switch random color palettes. Oh, just keep attacking. Why not? Fireball, let's attack that one. Attack that one. Oh, I thought that would kill him. It didn't kill him. I right, should always have one more, I guess. One more hit. Let's defend this one. You can fireball this one, and you can, you know, attack that one. Yay. Alright, now we'll just attack. Done. <laughs> This is a pretty neat game. It looks really awesome as well. We've got like different kinds of slimes coming to us. A bit harder. Next. We're playing bittersweet. So did I just do move, click to shoot. Oh, okay. Didn't say click to shoot. Huh. I don't know, I'm clicking but nothing's really happening. Avoiding these cards, we can go backwards. Go forwards very fast for a little bit. And backwards for a little bit. Alright. Uh, click to start. I just click to start, not shoot. Everything, all the words are quite tiny because of the game mode restrictions. So I just must have read it wrong. Alright. Just a really simple avoid game. It's well made. Nope. Try to go backwards a bit, but it wasn't letting me. Seems like we can go a bit backwards and a bit forwards, but there's a bit of like a cooldown or something on it. Alright, next. We're playing Space Cat. I already died. We should try again. Alright, so we are a cat in a plane in space trying to defend the world. This seems like a, a fairly simple space shooter. I like little particle effects die. Quite fun to look at. Don't have any bombs yet. Call of you. Just looking to stay alive and kill as much as possible. Oh yeah. Alright, so now I can sort of buy stuff. Upgrade our stuff. I love being able to pick out what my ship gains. I want to kill as many things as possible because I think that gives us more credits. But I also don't want to die. So, yeah. Very well made. If we fly forward, uh, armor plating. Let's see with uh, armor plating. Okay, maybe a torpedo tube. Next, we're playing Space Badger Mystery, Space Mystery Badger. Arrow keys, space bar, and you can begin. Um, hello. Not much to do, but uh, but look around, I suppose. All right, let's look around. 
door seems to be blocked, so we'll go back this way. Okay. Badger is taking it for his own. It weighs as heavy in pockets as it does in his mind. Alright, so I have a key. This is a different locked door, but we'll go through it. Whoops. The floor here is raised, but try as he might, Badger is unable to squish it down to proper floor height. Someone should fix this. It certainly, it certainly is a safety hazard. Yes. Alright, so I'll need something to do that before we can move on. Something to fix the safety hazard. I know we'll go up this way and see if the key works here as well. It does. A sock. Someone discard. Oh wait, some discarded boots. It's boots. Left with a good reason. Oh dear, these are far too rugged for my taste. The boots fit Badger perfectly. Awesome. Congrats, Badger, on your new footwear. Maybe I should go up and explore here. There's lots of area to explore, really. Nope. A huge cylinder sits here, fused to the ground. Badger tries his weight against that of the cylinder, but finds it to be impossibly dense. Darn. Seems like a really nice game. Not to very to explore. Badger's got some really cute dialogue. Next. <laughs> 